Hi, so I am going to do a second video as a follow-up after I have been playing the game a lot for the past few days. And I do feel like I am a bit more familiar with how everything works. So one thing that I didn't realize, mainly because I wasn't really paying close enough attention, is that when you use this fast travel, you see how it shows an encumbrance cost. And that basically means that if you are carrying more things in your inventory, then it will cost more to fast travel. So that may have been why um, it was difficult for me to fast travel as much. Maybe I didn't realize that every time I tried to use it, I was carrying too much, which does encourage you to put your things in your storage before you do it. Something that I will be curious to figure out how it works is storage. So storage is like your stash. And the thing is, in this game, your storage is not accessible across towns. So if I wanted to look at what I have in um, Brightwood, I have a lot of stuff in here. So if I wanted to take it, requires both territories to be in your faction and be current on their upkeep. So I guess that means like whatever this fucking highlight is, so it says it's controlled by marauders, and I believe that is because someone has occupied this fort. Yeah, so this is something that I don't fully understand yet, but I'm not going to worry about it too much until I actually play the game more and when the game officially releases. But from what I can tell, and I'm not sure I'm too thrilled with this idea, but it seems like questing is basically a few things. Questing seems to be doing your faction quests. So what you end up doing is you go to your faction leader and you, you are always welcome open the faction board and you have us. these quests to do. I have world. not actually done any PvP quests yet. And honestly, I don't even know how interested I would be in PvP when the official game comes out. Whenever I'm questing, I like to just zone in PvE and not worry about having someone kill me. So I don't really see myself doing any PvP quests, but for the most part, top row PvE, I always select all of them. And then you go to your town project board. So this is another thing that drives me nuts. When you zoom in, it zooms in where, you're, where your mouse is. And for me personally, I am so used to your character being centered when you're zooming in. Like when I am opening the map, I don't care where my mouse is. I would prefer for it to zoom in where my character is. So that has been driving me crazy because every time I'm questing, I have it zoomed out like this. And then when I come to town, I want to zoom in to see where all the stations are. And then that means that I have to zoom in all the way and then reopen the fucking map. So that part, I hope they change that. Um, I don't know if other people have had issues with it like I do, but that part does drive me crazy. So the next one that I've been doing is going over here to the town project board. Town upkeep. So these are all gathering quests and sometimes they can be difficult to do like if they want you to create food. Some of the ingredients in food are not very easy to come across so half the time um, there might be some that I wouldn't be able to get. There are some that are from fishing and some of those are challenging as well because um, say they want fish oil or some specific type of extraction that you get from fish. And those are specific to a type of fish. And as of now, I don't know where fi certain fish reside in, you know? I usually just go to any body of water and try to fish. And usually that's not always the way that it works. And then lastly, once you reach a certain level, and you're in the proper zone for that level, you start to unlock quests like this. So they will just show up on the map and then you can go and pick them up. So for example, when I first came to Weaver's Fen, I didn't have any of these at all. And then I think I leveled a little bit. I think I leveled up by one. And then a few showed up in town and then there was maybe one outside of town that showed up. So those show up regardless of proximity. I think I remember in WoW, quests wouldn't just show up globally like this. You actually have to be nearby for it to be discovered. I don't think I'm too fond of that rinse and repeat of 
go to town, pick up the town project board, pick up your faction quests, and then pick up any other side quests that show up. You run around, do them all, recall back to the inn, turn them in, and then rinse and repeat nonstop, nonstop, until you get sent to the next area and then you rinse in and repeat that step non-stop. I'm trying really hard not to compare it to World of Warcraft because it's a very very different game but WoW is my only extensive experience with MMOs and it was also one of the best experiences I've ever had in gaming so it's really hard not to compare and feel um, some sort of disappointment when something comes across a way that I'm not too fond of. Even in WoW, questing isn't the most enjoyable experience. I don't like it. So I would imagine even questing in this game, I won't like it either. But I guess the thing is, in WoW, there does feel like a form of progress because you go to a certain area, you do the quests there, and then you go to a different area. And like you're moving around a lot, right? You're exploring a new zone, and there's a fucking bug on my desk. You're exploring new zones, you're being sent to different NPCs in different areas, and it feels kind of like you're progressing. Even if the quests, their objectives are very similar, like killing things and looting things, I feel like the way that we absorb that is different than this game. Because in this game, a lot of the faction quests are the same. So the thing is, after you do maybe like two to three rotations back to town, you will get the same quests over again from your faction board. They're not going to be different. They will send you to the same landmarks over and over and over again. So you end up doing the same things over. And the quests are always kill something or loot something from the chests. So what I'm not the biggest fan of when it comes to looting quests in this game, they usually say, for example, uh, let's just pick a small landmark. So over here, I sometimes have to go here and loot, say, four things from the chests. And the thing is, you always have to loot it from different chests. So for example, I pretty much say I'm like three out of four, and I go inside buildings I've been in before and there's a chest there, I can't loot from it because I already have. So what basically ends up happening is sometimes you go a little crazy because you're like, where is that last chest that I have not looted from yet? So you kind of like have to run around, run around, run around, keep track of which buildings you've been in. And also a lot of the times um, the experience that I've been having lately is that I'm constantly in areas that are really freaking dark. So this is pretty light. When I'm questing like over here, um, I, I don't know specific areas. I just feel like lately everywhere that I've been questing is really dark, which makes it really hard to see if there's a chest there that I, I can interact with. And I can tell it's like messing with my eyes because I'm trying really hard. Like I can see myself like opening my eyes wide, trying to see even more clear, but that's just, a small little uh, complaint that I have. But yeah, I don't feel very good about the questing model, but I'm still going to play the game on release. I was thinking that on game release, I am looking to create my own company, which is basically a guild in this game. And if anybody wants to join, feel free to do so. I usually chat regularly in my Discord. In case people are not aware, I do have my own Discord that I started when I started streaming and I talk in there very often. So that is probably the best way to keep in touch with me in regards to that, because I will most likely post the server and then what um, faction that I end up choosing, because in order to be in the same company slash guild, you have to be the same faction. So I will probably discuss with a couple people that do want to play with me um, and see what faction they want to be because from my own research, it doesn't seem like there's major differences for the factions. Maybe gear appearance will be different, but I don't really care about that stuff. And then the color is different, yellow, red, and green. Yeah, I think those are the colors. And then maybe that's it. So one thing that I do want to talk about is the combat. And as you can see on the bottom right, um, there's only three abilities that you can have at once. So 
I put a point into Shield Bash because I have pretty much gotten most of the points under Swordmaster that I feel would help me best when leveling. And then I got a point in here, but I was a little bit skeptical whether I would be able to have four abilities out at once. And it turns out that you can't. I would have to sacrifice one of these abilities in order to put this in. But the main issue that I have with, with that actually came from when I was doing the expedition slash dungeon earlier. It was the first time that I did one in this game. I didn't really plan on doing it by myself because I didn't want to spend the time looking for a group or like joining the channel and finding a group. But Jose bought the game and he's been playing the beta as well. So we decided to try it out together. I noticed very quickly while I was doing the expedition that I wasn't feeling very good. So after the first or second pull, I started feeling <laughs> kind of disappointed because I was thinking about how there's very few spells to use and most of the combat is you spamming left click. So right now, since it's just closed beta and people are just doing whatever the fuck, we didn't have a specific um, lineup. You know, we didn't have a tank. We didn't have a specific healer. Like we did, but they're not ideal. So I actually out leveled the expedition because I am level 30 and everybody else was under leveled. So expedition level um, recommendation is 25 and Jose is 21. We had somebody that was level 22 and then we also had someone majorly under leveled that was level 17 as our healer. But anyways, what ended up happening was, of course, mobs were running around all over the place and nobody really had taunt going on. Um, in order to taunt, I realized you need to have a taunt gem. So I didn't have anything like that equipped. So basically what it just felt like was like a free for all. Mobs were just running around chasing random people and I would just be running up to them trying to hit them. And it just didn't feel very good. I don't want to say that the group composition really dampened the experience for me, but I just felt like how interesting and fun can dungeons and combat be in this game if you spend so much time left clicking and you only have three spells to use. So of course I can switch to my second weapon and start doing shit with it, but that's still just six spells in total. And then most of the time you're doing this or you're right clicking with your block or you're dodging with shift or like you're pressing your food and so. But yeah, I just didn't know what to really think of it. But that was just something that I was thinking about a lot during my run because I felt really detached and <laughs> disinterested during the whole run. I know I'm trying something different. This game is different. It's not trying to be wow. So I have to have different expectations for it. So even with all of the stuff that I have discussed thus far, that might sound like I hate this game. I don't. There are parts that I do find interesting. Learning it has been um, pretty fun, but I do still feel like you never really know what the game will turn out to be like until it is actually released. And then until you actually hit max level because similar to every other MMO, leveling is not even close to the experience that you will experience in a game like this. It does take a while to get to max level, so hopefully I'm not going to feel too discouraged. Jose Ramiro Contreras Guerrero, is this your first time playing an MMO? Uh, it is my first time playing an MMO. Oh. I mean, I've tried a WoW Classic before. Yeah. I tried it briefly, and then I was uh, questing with my friends. I think I got to like level 10, 12, 14, something uh -huh. like that. Yeah. And I tried it a little bit. But the thing with that is, like, you know, when you first pick your, you have to pick if you want to be undead or, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And I didn't know what to be, but right here, you just kind of start off. You already have your person. Like, no more decisions. <laughs> <laughs> no, but either way, though, it it does feel like a little repetitive with the questing. Yeah. Because you do it at first, and then it recycles, and they go somewhere else. Yeah. And. You have to, I mean, I don't know what it's going to be like at level 60, but you have to level up. The thing I wasn't paying attention to is like crafting and uh, 
like mining you have to level those up to get other items later on i still don't know how to add gems onto my sword and it's just creating like, it and then clicking and placing it in like can you just drag and drop like i have this brilliant ruby i don't know if i could just drag and yeah. drop this yeah you can unless the ruby the is not crafted. compatible oh yeah oh you okay. have to like go to the stone cutting yeah, so that's the thing. Usually in MMOs, I feel like professions can get in the way of questing because you're, you know, stopping a quest to like go off to the side and collect something. Mm -hmm. Normally, I would say for some MMOs, it's okay to level your professions later. But in this game, since they have those collection quests, it's probably worth it to level at the same time. That way you get experience from those. Because mm -hmm. like it would feel bad if you only did... The faction quests you ran around for a while and then you can't recall back you have to run all the way back or you do a suicide yeah see i love the idea of having a mount like a horse that would be sick but i mean is it because some random shit will just attack you they just believe that if you don't have a mount you spend more time in the world right because you're running you're experiencing it but the not thing when is... they have you back and forth though yeah, for something but, like mm, WoW right now, you don't see the world at all because you can fly to places or like it's faster or you can like teleport to the dungeon. I don't know. It's just like you don't run around anymore. You use the flight path. So you just like AFK while you're flying around. So mm -hmm. the world is just not seen at all. I think that's why they chose not to have mounts. Is is Azoth, Azoth only used for time travel? That's Here's what right. it seems like for now. Yeah. Time travel. Yeah. Time, oh, I say time travel, <laughs> teleportation. Yes, teleportation. No, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I use that a lot. And recalling, I didn't know I had to be in the shrine. Yeah, he's I'm a so big old loser. Because he's I never did it. a loser. From a settlement to fast travel to a shrine, it should mm. require you to go into a shrine. And then I was like, is it on cooldown? Like, I have no, money here. the whole settlement is the safety place. Wait, so... What do you feel about the combat and the weapons? Oh, so I started off with the sword and bow and arrow. I like the bow and arrow because I played it in what Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda, and it was just fun. And I did a couple missions, and in the beginning it was fun. It was, um, I mean, for doing like quests, it's easy. You're hunting, doing random things, it's good. But if you, if I want to go like in a dungeon or something, like, I'm not going to use that shit. It's not effective. <laughs> but like that's only good for hunting or but I once I switched to the life staff, I actually like using it as a projectile. Uh-huh. Pretty good. I like it a lot. I was it was between that one. I heard that the axe was really good, but I like my sword and shield. Yeah. The axe is, like it does similar damage. Mm -hmm. I know it probably has what crowd control and you could pull people i'm not really i don't the like the pull seems not that great the range yeah it pulls him short. and then hits him for a little bit and yeah. Just, yeah yeah i don't think it's I like probably to get to get it someone off of you or something uh, i haven't tried other weapon i tried the what is that fucking fencing sword rapier the the rapier that one looks pretty cool fast but i mean i like my sword 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 and shield. Like, the life staff, I like it a lot, even though I haven't used it much. The healing mm -hmm. is so fucking good. So I would use it, I would use it even though, like, if I'm playing alone, I'll use it to heal myself and while yeah. doing other things. That way I don't have to buy a whole fuckload of food and I like the, the potions and stuff, but there's still a lot that I still haven't experienced in this game, though. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, how I said earlier, when you're inside of, like, you're doing a quest and you're in closed walls, it fucking zooms in on your face and you can't <laughs> zoom out and you're just you can't see what's going on. You kind of have to hope that you're hitting them. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's pretty annoying. Yeah, there's a lot of targeting things I think that they need to fix because the healing that dungeon was pretty, like, tedious. <laughs> like, all the extra shit I have to do to properly heal the right person is just so much effort it shouldn't feel that way i still then, don't i still don't know how to move it like if i press q right now let me see well so there's a targeted healing option in gameplay you can have it on or off but oh, i have it on it. i go. have it on because i think if you have it off you have to like fucking place the shit on the ground 
like so you probably have to click under someone's feet and then i'll heal in that area and then that just seems even fucking worse oh no 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 so i'm talking about like for the the heal that you don't have the targeted one oh that one is annoying to not have targeted because then i place it on the ground and i think that it won't heal the person if they suddenly move away from it you know mm. so that that stuff is just dumb i don't know why there is no targeting there's no targeting in this game so in wow you you click on something and then you target it and then you press a spell and then you cast on them in this game it the targeting only happens when you're casting a spell, right? So, mm -hmm. like, you know, do you remember how in WoW, like, you, you target something and then you run over and then you start using your abilities on them? Even if you're melee? Yeah. In, in this game, when you have a sword and shield, you just fucking left click and it doesn't fucking matter. Like, you have nothing targeted. That part's a little different. I do hope they make it a little bit better if they can uh the thing too is like i have so much fucking loot that i don't know what to do with it i know you could sell it but once you once you equip it you can't sell it no i'm not selling it i'm salvaging everything yeah uh, i wish there was a way to like turn it in somewhere and just like well you can put it on the trading post i know but that's want. actually selling it to someone in yeah. game yeah yeah but it, yeah, I do we, find we that so much weird. Gear. Like, I have all this gear that I don't want. I don't... I mean, there's still there's still a lot. I have a lot of stuff. I know it's made for crafting, but... I don't actually you know. know if there's a vendor in this game. I'm assuming no, because I haven't... Like, I feel like the uh, you would come across a vendor randomly if they so, existed. The only place where you could buy gear is uh either from the trading post or the faction yeah so those are the only two places mm -hmm. i don't get but the like, point of I don't... having a house well you'll like, learn what's... about that later yeah but um i do think salvaging is worth it because repair parts are expensive if you want to repair all your gear yeah it's so bad like for times... really high levels like item it, it still gives you like two scraps yeah, that's why I, I have been salvaging everything instead. I guess I feel like there's not much else to discuss. We would just have to play it live and see what the experience yeah. is like. I mean, so sometimes things come up when I'm playing, mm -hmm. but right now I can't really think of anything yeah. on the spot. But you come up with a good company name that's not Dango. Oh yeah, I'm Governor of Dingo. Yes, we have to come up with yeah. a good company name. Maybe it'll just be Campanaya. Campanaya. <laughs> company, <a> company. <laughs> yeah so if you want to you know how there's like different storages and different settlements yeah if you leave something somewhere you, and you need that you have to travel all the way back and get that well there is definitely no so you see how your area is green right now mm -hmm. that means that you guys own the territory so if where i am if weaver's fen is green also then i believe i can access my storage because when you try to like take storage from some other place it says that the territory needs to be the same faction in order to do that so eventually we will be able to like fight for the territories right i think so but anyways thank you jose ramiro contreras guerrero for your thoughts on this game I'm excited that this is your first MMO experience with oh, look. me looking like so, George Washington. What? Not a problem. It was a pleasure. I was going to tell you, uh, someone's recruiting. We need one more person for Dead Man's Cove. We got Healer and Tank. We should do that. Mm. What's Dead Man's Cove? It's a dungeon, probably. Is uh, your time to do us another dungeon? I don't really know if I feel like it. <laughs> Because the right, gameplay is still going to be the same. You can do it, though. No. Because, uh... Yeah, I just have two spells. <laughs> and I'm just, like, right-click holding my fucking block because things are hit fucking running at me and hitting me. And I'm just like, oh, I'm trying to make sure I don't take too much damage and then I can't heal while I'm blocking. Alright, I'm going to try it out now. Good, you do that. <laughs>